Wall Street Memes Casino. I'm fine. And Sportsbook. Colin McGuigan for IFL TV. Delighted to be joined by Frank Smith. Frank, just your immediate reaction to Alexander Usyk beating Tyson Fury. Unbelievable fight between the two of them. I thought Fury was obviously way ahead. You know, probably 5-2, something like that, up in after seven rounds. And then Usyk just came back and showed. But look, that's what you expect when you got two of the best in the world going at it. Undisputed. You wouldn't expect anything less. Everyone always thought it would be a close fight. I thought Usyk won by probably a round. It was probably the right the right call. But an amazing fight, you know, an amazing fight. And <laughs> exactly what you'd expect for, again, like I say, the undisputed heavyweight championship of the world. When you were sitting there, it took so long. Did you maybe think this is going to be a controversial draw, potentially, I, or a draw? Or? I think they were just making sure they got it right. You know, it's a big moment. And there's been a lot of mistakes <laughs> as we've seen recently, and I think they just wanted to make sure they got it right. I just want to get your, your thoughts on Anthony Joshua next for either of them. There is the rematch clause, you believe. Obviously, the rematch will happen, and then will it be Anthony Joshua? I don't know. Let, let's see. You know, I think it's a, it's a massive fight, the Anthony Joshua fight. Look, I've always said, I, I always thought the Anthony Joshua fight against Tyson Fury, regardless of the result tonight, is, one, is probably still the biggest fight in the sport. You know, take away the, un- the belts. It's a huge, huge moment in the sport and a, and a fight that will be called for for a long time. I don't think a loss to Tyson Fury takes away from that, personally. You know, some people may think so, but I still think it's huge. But, yeah, l- let's see what happens. You know, there's, they spoke about the potential rematch in the ring. We'll see. Do, do you think AJ looks at that tonight and wants a bit of Tyson Fury? Do you think he's, he's up for it now even more so than what he was? I think he's up for any fight. He's always been up for every fight, hence why he went in there against Alexander Usyk when many people said he wouldn't, when he went straight back in there in the rematch, when he just went straight back into the rematch with Andy Ruiz. You know, he's up for any fight. He wants to test himself. He wants to be the best. Um, so, yeah, I, I think, look, these guys are the best in the sport, all of them. You know, Tyson, uh, Alexander Usyk, Anthony Joshua, they deserve to be in the position they're in. Um, and they're going to continue to give us the biggest nights in boxing. Just a quick one because I know we're pushed for time. Joe Cordina lost tonight to Anthony Kikachi. Just a, a you know, comment on Joe tonight. Yeah, look, Joe Cordina, the brilliant fighter. He's got so much more still to give the sport. I think the weight, he won't make excuses, I'm sure, but the weight is tough for him. But a brilliant performance from Anthony Kikachi. He took his chance. You know, he's he's in a great position now. We've obviously got Sugar Nunes, who's the IBF mandatory. You know, that will be ordered next. That's a brilliant fight as well. Um, but I think Joe will look to move up now. It's about time. He was already talking about it before. And there's big fights to be made for him. He's a, he's a, he's a big name. So, you know, he'll be back, take some time out. Um, it was a tough fight tonight for him, but he'll be back stronger. What do you make of Anthony Kikachi going into the ring tonight with a broken rib from training? Yeah, wild. I, I, I mean... When I did you hear about that? Well, you posted it. Was that the only yeah, time you heard? first time, yeah. I mean, unbelievable. But, you know, shows shows how tough these fighters are. Frank, last one for me. Taylor Cutter on next week. Looking forward to it. Massive night, massive night. It's kind of been with everything this week. You know, it's delayed. But I think when you see the two of them together, Tuesday is the first time they're going to come together. It's going to reignite all of those feelings that we saw when we had that launch press conference. It's a massive fight, massive old British domestic fight. Um, you know, a fight people have wanted to see for a long time. And uh, it's going to be a great one. The atmosphere in Leeds next Saturday is going to be unbelievable. Um, and let's go, Jack Hatchel. Frank Smith, always a pleasure. Thank you, man. Cheers, mate. Wall Street Memes Casino. I'm fine. And Sportsbook.